Hello there, and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn about the Portuguese Podango, a cheerful breed that is full of life and takes great joy in the company of their human family. We've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you find yourself drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue, though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the Join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the Join button. Now, let's get into the video. The Breed History The Portuguese Pondango is the official mascot of the Portuguese Kennel Club and one of the country's 10 official national dogs. The breed most likely descended from the primitive multi-purpose hunting dogs that Phoenician merchants brought back from their tour of Africa around 600 BC and spread across the Mediterranean and Europe, including Portugal in the 700s BC. Due to its usefulness, the Podango was expanded into a range of sizes in Portugal, the biggest of which, the Podango Grande, was made specifically for hunting deer and wild boar. Although the medio and pequeño sizes of this breed have developed over the past two millennia as a dog of the people, many members of Portugal's upper classes have participated in the efforts to save and improve the breed over the past century. Unlike the other two sizes, the medio, or medium, has the most conventional and homogeneous type and highest genetic stability since it developed to its current form without much impact from other breeds. When the first purebred Portuguese Potangos arrived in the United States in the 1990s, they quickly spread throughout the country. It wasn't until August of 1994 that the first wire-haired Portuguese Potango medios arrived in the United States. Dog lovers of the breed call it primitive, meaning that it is a spot Martin Plain Hound that has been there since the dawn of time on the Iberian Peninsula. Appearance the Potango is a hardy breed of coursing hound that may be either medium or giant. Note that there is a wide range of sizes for the Portuguese Potango. Still, the AKC recognizes only these two sizes, giant and medium, both developed in smooth and wire-haired varieties. However, a third type, known as the small type, is recognized by several international kennel associations. They are a well-balanced breed of dog. Both sets of legs are well-muscled, and their forelegs are strong. Rate. The shoulder height of an adult Podango may be anywhere from 22 to 28 inches. Between 16 to 22 inches in height, medium Podangos are considered medium-sized. Normal adult giant Podangos may weigh between 44 and 66 pounds. Podangos on the whole may weigh between 34 and 44 pounds. Their shoulders should be broad and their chests should stretch to their elbows. They have huge, tall, triangular ears, a pyramidal head that tapers to the nose, and expressive alpha shaped eyes. Temperament the Portuguese Potango has the temperament of a free-thinking canine. Extremely active, they prefer not to relax for lengthy periods. They are skilled and like playing games in the yard or park. They are brilliant and eager to learn, so training them is a breeze. Their demeanor is neither extremely aggressive nor timid. However, they are fiercely loyal to family but wary of strangers. As their ancestors were hunters, these canines naturally exhibit high levels of prey drive, so they excel at being pets and guard dogs. They must be kept on a leash if they haven't been taught correctly since their natural hunting instincts may set in and they may get too excitable. Podangos are jovial, playful dogs who are pretty content to play alone with their toys, chase one another around the house, and pursue one another in the yard. They're patient and accommodating, often looking for ways to help out their loved ones. The Portuguese Podango is an adaptable breed that thrives in urban or rural settings. Due to their outstanding temperamental values, the breed has succeeded in developing a standard reputation for itself in the United States. Socialization the Portuguese Podangos of all ages are pretty social regarding getting along with others. This dog comes in a variety of playful personalities. The breed is tolerant of other pets, provided they're introduced to one another slowly and calmly. Early socialization is beneficial in this regard. Toys are a simple way for toddlers to amuse themselves. Due to their small size, they are easily hurt by boisterous kids, so young children need to learn how to interact with them safely and appropriately from an early age. Small dogs can be great companions and watchdogs. They'll benefit most from early exposure to other pets. Early socialization makes this breed type friendly to almost anyone and pets alike. Grooming 
The care requirements of the two coat textures found in Portuguese Pontegos, wire and smooth, are somewhat different. The wire-haired variants constantly lose their hair. With time, each hair will eventually shed and be replaced by a fresh coat. The grooming needs of smooth-coated dogs are likely lower, and an occasional brushing should do the trick. An occasional wash, in addition to the weekly grooming, is all needed to keep them looking fresh and presentable. As part of their grooming, nail clippers or grinders should be used often to prevent the nails from becoming overgrown, split, and breaking. The dental health of your Portuguese Podengo should be your first priority. You should wash their teeth every day. You may get advice on how to brush your dog's teeth from the vet. It's crucial to examine their ears regularly to remove any wax or debris that may have accumulated there since this may cause infection. Remove any foreign objects or pests from their ears and eyes regularly and clean them as directed by your vet. Grooming sessions should be bonding sessions enjoyed by you and your pet. To succeed in having a stress-free session, start grooming your dog from its puppy stage. Exercise this breed's medium-sized variation stores more energy than its massive counterpart does. As a result, they'll need more walks and runs. Due to their high energy levels and active nature, Portuguese Podengo Pequeño never gets overweight. However, you should still walk your dog for at least an hour every day and, ideally, include some active playtime and shorter walks throughout the day. These canines need cerebral stimulation in addition to physical exercise. Playing games, taking the them on walks and participating in dog sports are great ways to stimulate their minds and bodies while having a good time together. They excel in various canine sports, including agility, speed, and endurance events. If you have another dog, they may harass and pursue one another within your home. Since they were developed for pack work, they thrive off social interaction. They may burn up much energy romping about with other dogs. The AKC gives the Portuguese Podengo an overall 4 out of 5 on their energy rating. Training Podangos are fantastic pets and guard dogs. They are intelligent and fast to learn, but may be difficult to teach due to their vivacious nature. Compared to the large, which prefers to kick back on the couch, the medium is much livelier and more active. Both small and large wolves are revered for their ability to adapt to different environments, hunt alone or in groups, and use their complete set of senses. They need consistent guidance or they'll wander off on their own, but they respond well to rewards like food and and play. So, take advantage of positive training with praises and treats. While rewards may be helpful in training, excessive doling out of treats can lead to weight gain. To get the most pleasure out of your Podengo, it's best to take him to training sessions and socialize him as a puppy so that he grows up to be a calm, patient adult. Diet and Nutrition the Potango should thrive on veterinary-approved, high-quality dog food, whether purchased from a store or cooked at home. The nutritional requirements of the Potango change as they mature from puppyhood to adulthood and then into old age, as is the case with all dogs. Since there is so much variation among individual dogs in terms of weight, energy level, and health, you should consult your veterinarian before implementing changes to your dog's diet. Keep an eye on his calorie intake and weight, since certain canines are predisposed to becoming overweight, don't forget to give your pet plenty of fresh water to drink. Find out what kinds of human food can be fed to your dog and what can't. If you are worried about your dog's nutrition or weight, it's best to talk to your doctor. Health most Podangos are in good health, with few serious medical problems. Standardized health screening is not available to Portuguese Podangos in their home country. However, before deciding on a puppy to adopt, it's essential to inquire about its ancestry from the breeder. The health problems of the Portuguese Podango might include allergies, conditions associated with the thyroid, deafness, hypothyroidism, coronary illness, and hip dislocation or dysplasia. Always remember that all dog breeds, including the Portuguese Podango, benefit from timely, preventative care visits to the vet. If you and your vet work together, you may create a regimen to keep your pooch happy and healthy. What are your thoughts on adopting this breed as a pet? Let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.